What's up, buddy? How you doing? How you been? Have you been following the story of Sam Brinton? This is one of these I have for some reason. I don't know why, but this is one of these stories that I just can't believe it. It's like, of all the stupid things to be caught doing, this is one of the stupidest. This is an individual, very high profile, non-binary individual. You know that, you know, eyes are on you. You're a public figure. You're a controversial figure. People are waiting for you to slip up. And then you do something as stupid as going to the airport and stealing people's luggage, not just once, but twice. And I, and I hate to say it, if somebody does something twice, it's very possible they've done it three, four. Who knows how much luggage this individual has stolen? We're going to talk about it. Why are they, why are you stealing luggage? You work for the government. You got a big cushy government job. This is crazy. We're going to talk about it. Don't forget, hit that button, subscribe. Now, this individual, again, is Sam Brenton. And you might be going, well, is this a guy? Is this a girl? And you're either right on both counts or on both counts, depending on how you want to look at it. Because they are a non-binary individual, uh, meaning they do not necessarily identify with either gender. Now, uh, do they use gender-neutral pronouns? Is there some they's in here? They identify. Okay. So it is It is the true gender-neutral, neither man, neither woman. And again, working for the Biden administration as the deputy Assistant Secretary of the Office of Spent Fuel and Waste Dep uh, Disposition, overseeing programs, basically making sure our nuclear waste doesn't just get uh, poured into our river. Okay, and I'll say this. I'm a very progressive person. Obviously, you know, I think it's a little weird. <laughs> it's a little weird. They're on around in a beard and a dress, and I'm never going to say it's not weird. I can't imagine I'm ever going to be like, yeah, that's a good look. This looks good. It looks a little weird to me. Does that make a bigot? Maybe. But I fully, as an American, support your ability to do this. You should be able to wear whatever the hell you want, call yourself whatever you want. I don't care because it's all about freedom, baby. If you really think this is going to make you happy, then do it. Do what makes you happy as long as, again, it's not hurting anybody else. And I can't imagine anybody is hurt by this person wearing a dress or lipstick to work, you know, within reason. I am sure somebody could make the argument otherwise, but ultimately... I don't think this does anything one way or the other. Okay, so, but there are a lot of people out there, you know, who are bigoted, who go, you know, oh, this person has no right to work in the government, they're mentally ill, and you want to tell those people, well, hey, it's America, you know, uh, I don't know, I mean, I guess you can make an argument for a dress code, but I'm against that kind of thing anyway. You want to tell those people, no, anybody can do the job, and this is a very important science uh, person, scientist, I believe. You know, has a, has a background in clean energy and clean air and whatever else. They're a perfect person for the job. And they go and they screw it all up by committing crimes for no reason. You're like, when petty, petty crimes. I say petty, but I mean, the amount, the, the monetary amount will maybe uh, uh, surprise you. Non binary by nuclear official accused of stealing women's suitcase at the airport. Now, this news came to us last month. Uh, this story is from November 29th, but I want to say it broke earlier than that because I remember reading it uh, about a month ago and being like, what the hell are you thinking? Okay, so here was Sam Brenton when they first announced I'm, you know, the assistant secretary for spent fuel and weight. Great. It's a cushy government job. Don't screw it up. Don't mess around. But apparently at an airport in Minnesota, Sam decided to, uh, at the luggage carousel, take a uh, bag a piece of I want to say was it Louis Vuitton it was some luxury bag uh, sadly this story is missing it but it says the stolen baggage was worth two thousand dollars so it's fancy luxury leather baggage now uh, when confronted about this because let's be let's be guys if you if you want to know a place that has cameras it's the airport don't fuck around at the airport one time I stole a fruit cup at the airport and I'm thinking about it. Shouldn't have done it because they got cameras everywhere, everywhere. Every inch of that building has cameras. So, you know, you get away from the airport. You go, ah, I got away with it. All they do is somebody reports their baggage is stolen. They go back through the camera. They watch the carousel and they go, yeah, it was taken by that person. Which plane did that person get off? And then they back the camera up and they go, okay, they got off that plane. Okay, well, based on what they were wearing and, you know, what other uh, airport they stopped in at, they can figure out who went where and why. They know everything. Every party is tracked in the god dang airport. So they figured out it was this uh, Sam Brenton individual. 
and uh, confronted them, basically. They actually have more footage, because this person went on more flights, of them then using the bag as luggage. They said, this is a great bag, and going on more flights with it. Well, you're dead to rights at that point. You're with the store and luggage uh, using it. Uh, at first, they tried to deny it, but now has this mealy-mouthed little excuse going, well, if I took the wrong bag, I'm happy to return it, but I don't have any clothes for another individual. Uh, says it was my clothes when I opened the bag. Okay, this was the original claim that they made that, oh, I don't know. I mean, I just took a bag. I th I'm pretty sure it was mine. Then two hours later, uh, claimed they took the expensive bag by mistake, blamed exhaustion, and then was too worried to bring it back. Okay, well, already you got multiple conflicting stories. It kind of sounds like you just wanted to steal a bag. Best thing to do would be to go, you know what? I think I made a mistake and I was embarrassed. Uh, let me just give back the bag and everything that was in it. And I feel horrible at what happened. You could almost get away with it at that point. But now this is where the story just, you're like, all right, well, what is wrong with you? Because I almost, look, I get it. You're, you're standing around and there's a $2,000 piece of luggage just sitting there. Maybe you were there like for an hour. Nobody comes to claim it. For all you know, the lady, you know, got mixed up, sent on the wrong flight, and you get this this urge. And you're like, God, it's really just sitting there. And nobody's taking it. Maybe I could just take it and nothing will happen. And there's probably only clothes in there. And she won't even care. I, like, I get that, but this is no. This is a pattern because non-binary Biden nuclear official Sam Britton accused in second luggage heist twice. Why? 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 What are you doing? If you're working, and if you're a nuclear official working for the government, you're making six figures, I imagine. I wonder, is Sam Britton's uh, salary public? It's a government uh, gut dang. It says Sam Britton has a $1 million net worth. <laughs> Look at this. All right. Uh, and I'm sorry that these are all, like, weird far-right sites that, again, are, like, you know, a little bigoted towards this individual. But a Freedom of Information Act has put the salary at $178,000 a month. Or, I'm sorry, a year. $178,000. That's so much money. Why would you steal luggage? You can just buy it. Oh, my God. $178,000 and you're stealing luggage like a, like a little grubby-handed thief. And, again, uh, the same individual has been accused of another luggage heist and now at a Las Vegas airport. Uh, a felony warrant on grand larceny charges has been issued for Sam Brenton. Uh, the details about the theft are scarce, but has been charged with grand larceny with a value between 1200 and 5000 So I don't know if this is, it says it's a luggage theft, um, but it, it just says that it happened at an airport. So maybe they ripped off a store at the airport. I don't know if they stole this. Sounds like they stole another suitcase, but we don't have the full details. Uh, Sam's been on leave ever since that first theft accusation. But now, I mean, how do you, how do you save your career at this point? You're a weird little thief. I wouldn't trust you in the god dang, uh, nuclear bunker. I don't know what you're going to steal. I don't know what you're going to steal with your little grubby hands. Oh, this is horrible. Uh, and again, so the original suitcase was a Vera Bradley suitcase, and they were seen using it on at least two occasions, again, because the airports have cameras, people. If, if you're using stone luggage, they're going to see it. Uh, a number of, you know, House Republicans are calling for them to step down. I, I At first, I would have said, you know what, maybe it's a one-time thing. Maybe it's not a big deal. If they're good at their job, who cares? But if there's really multiple instances of this individual uh, stealing, for no reason. You're you're a rich person if you're making almost uh, $200,000 a year. Why are you stealing luggage? I hate to say it. Uh, you know, that exhibits a lack of common sense. Uh, you're hurting the uh, reputation of the administration you're working for. You are a public figure. I mean, here you are on red carpets and giving speeches. This is crazy behavior. For someone who's supposed to be a nuclear official, it to just be stealing fancy bags from airports. Ah, uh, this is wild. Sam, look, I support your right to dress how you want, be who you want. I can't stop you, and I don't want to stop you. But I do have to put a foot down. Don't take people's stuff. You have enough money. You should be buying stuff for people, not stealing stuff. This is this is terrible. 
And uh, I think maybe, I don't know, where do you go from there? Where do you go from having, hopefully you can find another job, but that cushy government job, you screwed it up. How did you screw it up so bad? But guys, let me know what you think. Is it fair to criticize Sam Brenton, the non-binary official? Am I just pointlessly piling on a mean old dog pile of a brave non-binary individual? Again, I wanted to support this person. I wanted to say, you know what? Do what you like. Screw the haters. It's America. Freedom 100%. But, uh, buddy, I was going to say bro. I can't say bro. Buddy, what are you doing? Why are you stealing stuff? This is such a bad look for you and all your supporters. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And we got more cool videos coming soon. Vito Nation, take care of yourself. I love you. Peace out.